This is could potentially could be a cancer deck, guys. This is potentially a cancer deck. Hi guys, Raftera here. I hope you're having an awesome 2021. Shurima is finally here. And guess what? My first deck will be a Fiora Shurima deck because Fiora is my favorite champion. And in my card reviews, card reveal reviews, if you saw me when I saw Rite of Calling, which allows you to draw a champion by destroying your by killing an ally or destroying one of your mana gems, I immediately said, Fiora Shurima might be a thing. And I inspected the cards, the Shurima cards, even more. And I saw so many synergies together with the Fiora. The main reason why Fiora Shurima works is not just because of the addition of Rite of Calling. Um, if you don't know, um, if you played the Fiora Freljord deck before, we have Entreat and Fiora. So with 3 copies of Fiora and 3 copies of Entreat just before, we have an 87% chance of having the Fiora by turn 3. 87% chance, which is already a very high chance, so if you want to create the deck around that, it will work because the 13% thir chance, sometimes you can't avoid it, you have bad luck. So with Rite of Calling and with Fiora, we have an 87% chance of drawing the Fiora by turn 3. But the thing why Shurima might be better than Failure is we have the keyword predict. If you don't know what it does, predict picks a card among the three top three in your deck. And then you put the card that you desire on top of your deck. So with Predict, we have three copies of Aspiring Chronomancer and one copy of Ancient Preparations. We have four Predict cards. What this does is that if you don't have Fiora in hand, or if you don't have Rite of Calling in hand, you might have any of these four cards, which is also very likely. And you have very high chances to fix your draw. Because if you use Aspiring Chronomancer, you will look at the top 3 cards of your deck. So this just adds up more to the 87% that I talked about earlier. I think the, the chances of you having a Fiora on turn 3 with this deck combined with the Rite of Calling, 3 copies of Fiora, and the Predict cards is around 95%. So the, the chances are very good. So it's very safe to build around. So first, we have Exhaust, which gives an enemy minus 2, minus 0, and vulnerable this round. So this is like the equivalent of Brittle Steel, kind of, if you played the Fiora Freljord deck. Um, that deck focuses on freezing, um, Exhaust allows you to give an enemy minus 2, minus 0 and kill it with Fiora immediately. We have Ancient Hourglass which allows you to save your Fiora from anything, literally anything. And the thing is, it says obliterate an ally and summon a status statue in its place. The difference of this card from other summon effects is that this copies an exact copy. I mean, this summons an exact copy of the obl obliterated unit, which means it retains all the buffs of Fiora. It retains the kill count of Fiora. So if your Fiora is already at 3 kill count and your opponent tries to remove it, you simply save it with the Ancient Hourglass. Your Fiora will be back next turn without any issue at all. So in addition to Exhaust and Ancient Hourglass, um, some more tools from the Shurima expansion include Inner Sanctum and Quicksand. Um, I'll start with Quicksand because this is like Hush. It's basically like a Hush plus Flash Freeze. Um, so in Targon Fiora, we use Hush. In Fairlord Fiora, we use Flash Freeze. So in Shurima Fiora, of course, we will use Quicksand. It's a good card to silence enemy keywords and to give an enemy minus 4, minus 0, which will allow our Fiora to kill it. And then we have Inner Sanctum. If you're not familiar, Inner Sanctum says... Countdown 1, create 2 lucky finds in hand. We will not trigger the reputation with this deck. Very rare that we will be able to trigger the reputation. So what lucky finds is, is uh, it's a 0 mana fleeting card. Which means you activate inner sanctum on turn 3 and then turn 4 you get lucky finds. So lucky finds allows us to give 2, 2 permanent buffs on Fiora. So what we're looking for here is mostly stat buffs, the plus 1 plus 1 or plus 0 plus 2 or the tough keyword. And if you've played Fiora decks before, you know that Chain Vest is very awesome on Fiora. Inner, Inner Sanctum just gives us two more um, permanent grants on Fiora. Then we have Rite of Negation. If you don't have Ancient Hourglass in hand, your opponent tries to kill your Fiora. We have the Shurima Deny, the Power Creep Deny. Um, destroying your own mana gem is not too much of a big deal in this deck. And then in addition to that, we have the usual 
the Masha Combat Tricks to protect the Fiora. We have Chain Vest. We have Sharp Sight. We have Single Combat to get more kills with Fiora. We have Prismatic Barrier. I'm not running a repost anymore because uh, extra copies of Fiora become repost. So basically, if you have Fiora on board, Right of Calling is a repost. So I don't run that card anymore. Prismatic Barrier is a great 3 cost, three cost uh, combat trick in the, the Master region. Just why I'm running it. And we have Standalone because we usually only have Fiora on board. Which uh, gives a permanent buff. And then we, we have Concerted Strike to get free kills on Fiora. So that's it for the deck. I think this is a very good deck for climbing right now. Especially since people will be experimenting. Um, this deck will kill aggro decks. Except for Discard Aggro. Discard Aggro is a 50-50 matchup. But any other deck that tries to go wide with small units, he will demolish with Fiora. Um, there are lots of matchups that are auto-win. Um, I think this is a very good deck to climb with, especially in the early phases of the expansion. If the meta hasn't settled yet, people will be experimenting. Just you're looking for a fast deck to climb with, and if you love Fiora, you need to play this deck. With that, I'll stop talking. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye. We're up against Trundle Lissandra, probably with all the landmarks. I don't think single combat will be useful. I don't see exhaust being useful as well. The, the thing is, his units will be super big, right? His units will be super big. Warrior might be useful. I think we want to get permanent buffs to our Fiora. Predict is actually okay for our play here. I think I want Inner Sanctum. Inner Sanctum will allow us to give Fiora two permanent buffs on turn 5. So he draws Alessandra or a Trundle. Probably Alessandra. We have our Clockling on board, but we probably just want to sacrifice this Clockling. We will summon our Fiora. I'm not yet familiar with the new meta, but I don't see any reason why I should not summon Fiora here. See, he has Alessandra in hand, right? Two mana left, so I think very safe now to go for the Inner Sanctum, which means next turn we will have two Lucky Finds, which means we will buff our Fiora two times permanently. And the thing with Ancient Hourglass is that um, unlike other obliterate and summon effects, this obliterates an exact copy and it summons an exact copy. Which means you retain all the buffs that you have for Fiora and you retain all the countdown, not the countdown. You retain the number of kills that you have on the Fiora. We will use our first lucky find to buff our Fiora. See what we get. Quick attack, fearsome, plus two. Quick attack. Can be useful with Challenger, right? I think as he has lots of freezes. I think I prefer the plus two here just because Quick Attack won't be able to deal with the Strandel yet. Tough. Tough is super good. Tough is of, is of course super good. Should I just strike the Trundel? What can he do? What can he do if I strike the Trundel? He can just freeze my Fiora. Is his deck running Flash Freeze? That's the question. Now let's, ju let's just play reactively, but he has 3 mana only. I think we have to play reactively. We can use the Exhaust now. For the attack. I will use Right of Calling to probably kill my Clockwork. Um, I don't want that to happen, right? I can just simply Ancient Hourglass. I think it should retain the buff. It should retain the buff. And I don't care about my clockwork, right? Is it safe to kill my ally? I think my mana is pretty important. This should be safe. We shouldn't have a 3 mana spell that we'll be able to prevent. We have another Fiora now, which is a repost, basically. So we retain the, we retain the buffs. Pretty cool. But our Fiora is still only at one kill currently. We need to get the Fiora train going. Just pass. Just pass. 
So he gets either a Lissandra or a Trundle. If it's a Lissandra, I can kill it. I just play reactively. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just chill. Cannot not take the attack here. But at the same time, he gives my Fiora a free kill. Wow. Very. Very brave. Very brave. I can do a concerted strike, a repost into a concerted strike right now. There's nothing he can do. Except if he's running Brittle Steel, then there is something he can do. But I think I don't want to go down to 10 HP because I never know. You never know with these new decks. They might be running atrocity. So I think it's pretty safe now to go for the concerted strike and the kill on the Asgard the Ancient. And the good thing here is, since our Fiora levels up, the Fiora's attack will go up to 6, which means we can kill the Ice Pillar without any problem. Do I want the repost now? That's the question. I think I want the repost now, actually. I will have seven, 8 mana next turn, which is more than enough to cast all the spells in my hand. I have another repost. So we will now kill the Ice Pillar. Predic is pretty cool. We get to pick the combat trick that we will get. If he uses removal on Fiora, I still have Ancient Hourglass to save it. Uh -uh. Do I use Ancient Hourglass or Barrier? Let's go with Barrier first. I really want to kill the Ice Pillar. That's the thing. I want to get the third proc. Could use another spell here. Which will trigger me to use my... Wait, wait, wait. I can use Sharp Sight. If I use Sharp Sight, it's not enough damage to kill me. And then he has a spider that I can kill for free. There should be no 2 mana spell, right? That kills me. It, this should be safe. This should be safe. If it's not safe, then it's not safe. Nice. Single combat. We might have won. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Might have won here. Avalanche. Let's see if he has something to counter this. If he has, I'm using ancient hourglass. Let's see if he has something to counter this. I'm going all in. I'm probably not doing the right place now, but the fact that he uses a uh, Grasp of the Undying here makes me think he has no more answers in hand. Because you wouldn't commit a 5 mana card there. Nice, we win. Easy. This is could potentially could be a Cancer deck, guys. This is potentially a Cancer deck. Ever since I saw the right, right of Calling, the one that draws a champion, I immediately, I immediately thought of Fiora. So it's the Lucian Azir deck. I'm not sure sold on Azir. I'm not too sold on Azir. I think he's pretty hard to use. Uh, Maligan is easy. You don't have Fiora. Maligan away everything. We get right of calling. We have our Fiora anyway. So that's pretty nice. We will take heavy damage here. Nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do. So we have Fiora into standalone, which al it's already good news for us. But we might have to take some heavy damage here. Double Fiora. Double Fiora. Free real estate. Yikes. A little bit too much damage. Be the same, right? You have to kill him fast. Um, let's use this first. It's the least committal play. Upside. Just 
Nice. A repost would have punished us there, but I don't think his deck is running repost. So yeah, I was so confident there. Grizzled Ranger is fine. Your danger is <laughs> low on health. We get a much needed blocker here. Much needed blocker. Single combat. Single combat. Make barrier is useful. Make sure our Fiora will live. Valor. Am I dead? I'm not dead. I'm not dead, right? Yeah, I'm not dead. It's pretty safe to use Lucky Find here now. Oh, I forgot they have Scout. I think I should not have summoned here. Might be dead. Oh, I shouldn't have used the Inner Sanctum. Okay, we're not dead. He opens at open attacks. Listen to me. Stupid boy. We, we could have been dead there if he just went for the scout attack. Because we would have to defend with our Fiora. Get the barrier. I I wish I got single combat. Spell shield. Spell shield is super good. This, this will stop any shenanigans and then we have barrier. This allows us to go for this play. Which will win the game on the spot if he has nothing. It's like he has nothing. Bang. Bang. Just like that. Just like that. I even made mistakes that game. Many decks now will allow... Many decks during the early expansion will go wide. So I think this is a pretty good deck for climbing. Especially in the first phases. Discard aggro is a 50-50 matchup. Obviously he goes wide. So we have lots of targets for our Fiora. <clears throat> so we mulligan away everything, right? We mulligan away Ancient Preparations? I think I mulligan away Ancient Preparations. We didn't get the Fiora, so this is the first game that we didn't get the Fiora. But we have a uh, Aspiring Chronomancer to kind of correct our draw. We have two tries at getting the Fiora now. Let's see how good our luck is. And it just so happens that Aspiring Chronomancer is good against the Discard Aggro deck. So we still don't have the Fiora. We have three tries. We have three tries, guys. We have three tries. Wow, Prismatics. Cool. The deck shuffles, right? So I have two more chances of fixing this. Come on, you gotta give me the Fiora. You gotta give me the Fiora. Nice, nice. Get the Fiora. <clears throat> and next turn, we're pretty safe from get excited. He is probably going to use crowd favorite next turn. It's coming. It's coming, guys. Crowd favorite is coming. There's really nothing we can do about that, so we just have to hope we can kill him before he kills us. We have to attack with everything. Oh wow, he doesn't attack with everything. <coughs> we'll just go with the best defense that we have. Lucky find is pretty neat. We now have the ability to kill the crowd favorite, but I think I go with Payday first. We don't need the health really. For the honor, try me. If I go for repost, he can use get excited. Then I'm dead. So I can't go for the repost here. I need to go for this play. I need to go for the free real estate. And I want him to commit mana. We might have to use both Aspiring Chronomancer and Inner Sanctum this round. He has the ability to commit two get excited on my Fiora in order to kill me. He still has mana, enough mana for that. I think I just have to use Aspiring Chronomancer for now. Chain Vest is really good. Quicksand is really good. I don't think I need Chain Vest yet. Quicksand will be super useful against the crowd favorite. Disables the Overwhelm, which means I can block. 
Thanks for that. I need you to drop under a certain mana point. Four mana. Four mana. Double Mystic Shot? No, it's not possible. I, I still want to save save up mana. Arena Battle Caster. So inflict is a total of two, four, six, eight, eight damage to my face, and then crowd favorite. Is inflict damage with overwhelm, which means I probably want to use the hush that I draw on the crowd favorite. Block against the arena battle caster with my aspiring chronomancers. Yep, 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 yep. I I will need to use quicksand here. I will use quicksand no matter what because I have to disable the overwhelm. I have to disable the overwhelm. I think I'm fine to do this. I can't really do anything anymore if he has vision or something. It's not something we can play around. Or Jinx. Yes, Jinx. Nothing I can do anymore. Or get excited. Get excited on my Fiora. But discard aggro is a really tough deck to beat consistently because they have a chance to just high roll out of nowhere. This is, uh, get excited on my Fiora. Wow. So he's out of cards now. It's a really risky play. Really risky play, brother. So I want to kill the crowd favorite now for sure. My word. I mean, safe to use the inner sanctum now. I want to save sharp sight for the daring poro attack. Let's see what buffs we get. Tough, pretty good. Yeah, I need the tough for sure. This one. He has one card left. I want to have. No, 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 no. I, I can't have two reposts available. I just have to hope that what he's getting is not a burn card. It's a burn card, I lose. Would have been cool if I got lifesteal, right? I want to save sharp side if possible so that I will be able to kill the first Daring Poro that attacks next turn. If he has an answer to that, then we just lose. <clears throat> yeah, my mana gem is not useful here anymore. Can't afford to destroy it. Let's see what we get. This is a super close game. Another right of color. Um, the best thing for him to do here is to destroy his own Daring Boro into a burn attack. Nice, got him. Got him! <clears throat> Are we 3 and 0 now? I think we're 3 and 0 now. The hell? 3 and 0 or 4 and 0? We're, f we're 3 and 0. <laughs>